Hello friends, how are you today? I'm excited you're here with us. Let's start out by doing a welcome song. Ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. We're glad you're here today. I'm happy to be here, I hope you are too. Um, so let's figure out what day are we even here? What day could it be today? We're gonna stop at our yellow circle. Well, we're gonna watch for our yellow circle during the song, and then we'll figure out what day it is after our song is over. You try to watch though where that yellow square is the it, it, covering the circle with the number in it. Here we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, did you guys catch it while we were going through? Did you figure out what day that was? Let's try it together, ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday, did you say Tuesday? So today is Tuesday. That's what day we landed on. Today is Tuesday. Let's see what yesterday was. Ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. The day before today was yesterday, which was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. What will tomorrow be? What will tomorrow be? Let's figure it out. Ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, did you say it? I bet you did. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Great job. Way to follow along. Let's see what number is inside of our yellow square. What number do you think that is? Do you know? Let's count together and find out. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. We're so far into the month. It's the 29th day of this month. We know it's a Tuesday. Do you remember what month it is? September. So today is Tuesday, September 29th. Can we say it again? Today is Tuesday, September 29th. Good job. Thanks for following along. Let's figure out our weather, okay? Can you go to your window and look outside? Does it look sunny or rainy or cloudy or in the middle? What do you think? We're not having quite a sunny day today. It's also not thunderstorming right now. It's kind of in the middle between cloudy and rainy. That's what I would guess. And it's still kind of warm out. It's getting a little chillier, a little below warm, but it's not cold, cold yet, but it's it's not hot either. It's kind of warm, warm and cloudy. So I have on here, the weather is warm and cloudy. And the season is fall. The season is fall. How wonderful is that? All right. That kind of leads us to our theme. If the season is fall, what kind of worksheets have we been working on this week? Do you remember? Have been, we've been working on apples was last week. What's this week? This week is pumpkins. So we'll get our pumpkin worksheets out. Yesterday we did our tracing. 
our pumpkin tracing. So let's do the pumpkin colors, okay? So we have a worksheet that says pumpkin colors. Our directions say color the pumpkins the correct colors. So each pumpkin has a different color written in the middle and you're supposed to get your um, markers or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you're using to color, and color it in to match, okay? Let's name all of the colors and then we'll color in the red one because we're still having red as our theme this week um, for the color. So this pumpkin says yellow, this pumpkin says purple, this pumpkin says green, this pumpkin says brown, this pumpkin says orange, this pumpkin says pink, this pumpkin says red, that's our color, and this pumpkin says blue. So you can work your way through the whole worksheets and have all sorts of beautiful colored pumpkins. I'm gonna show you guys the red one because that's our color this week. And you could just take your time and color your pumpkin in red. If you go outside of the lines, it's okay. You don't have to be perfect at drawing. You just make your pumpkin as beautiful as you'd like. So now I have a red pumpkin and I could work through all of the other colors together. Very cool, huh? All right, let's talk shapes. Do you guys remember what shape we're still on this week? It's triangles, Tommy triangle. Let's read about Tommy. Tommy triangle, proud as can be. Count my sides, one, two, three. Let's do Tommy one more time since he's our feature shape this week. Tommy triangle, proud as can be. Count my sides, one, two, three. Let's go back to our other shapes too to make sure we don't forget them. Sandy Square is my name. All four sides are the same. And let's head over to Susie's Circle. Susie's Circle, big and round. All I do is roll around. Great job, way to follow along. Lastly in our video today, we'll talk about our letter this week. Our letter is letter C, okay. We have C this week. C makes the k sound, k. All right, so you might think of it as cat, k, at, okay. Cat or cookie or color. But let's learn how to draw it. The nice thing about the letter C is the uppercase and the lowercase, the capital or the lowercase, the big or the little, however you like to say it, they're both the same. You write them both the same, which is really nice. So the um, you, one is just bigger than the other, but it's the same function as you use your marker or crayon or pencil. So you're gonna start at the top of the dotted line and you're gonna follow it all the way around to finish off your C. That's the uppercase, let's try it one more time. Start at the top, follow it around and end at the bottom. Let's do our lowercase, it's gonna be just the same. We're gonna follow our dotted line Start at the top and end at the bottom. And next we're gonna start at the top, circle around and end at the bottom. There's our uppercase, our big C, lowercase, little c. Great job, way to follow along. And let me get our alphabet card so we can go through those and talk about what each sound they make. All right, so, so far in the alphabet, we've done A, A, B, B. Those are the two we've already done. And now we're at C, K. That's the sound the C makes. That's our letter this week, C, K. All right, nice job, guys. We'll keep making our way through the alphabet each week. Thanks so much. Have a great day.